let's begin with the idea of setting joints to generate power. So first of all, the, the word set means to put something in a specific place. It means to, in other words, to assign time and space to matter and energy. You're taking something, a thing, and you are putting it in a specific time and place. And if you do that, that becomes the yin pole of the system, that, that, that piece. And from that, you can extend from that in a yang expression. And the ability to hold those poles in opposition generates power. So the, uh, the term power, I, I find a lot of people kind of cringe whenever I, whenever I use it. Uh, it. There's a lot of, uh, uh, oh, we don't, we don't, we're not into power here. Or, you know, power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely and that kind of thing. And there's a, a, some squeamishness about, uh, about power. But power really just means the ability to do something, to do anything. So if you don't have any power, then you have no ability to do anything. And that gets, makes life kind of boring. So your ability to, to use power correctly and wisely is kind of a part and parcel of what we're doing here in Taiji Chuan. We're trying to learn what is the appropriate energy for any given situation. We meet the situation, we say, oh, what's the, what's the right energy for this, this you know, these circumstances, you know, so the, uh, it, yeah, uh, there's a certain power that's required to cradle a baby. We don't think of it that way, but it is, you know, if you don't have, if you're not able to do that, if you don't have the, the, the support necessary to do that, then the baby doesn't get cradled. You know, it's a different kind of power than say, intercepting a punch coming in, you know, or even, delivering a punch. So, but they're both kinds of power and they each have their circumstances in which they're useful. So what we want to do is be able to learn how to generate all kinds of different ways to generate power and be able to be smart enough to know when to use the ones that we have and um, being able to use the a gradient scale to determine how much of this type of power that I use at a given time. You learn to, by understanding Jin, by, um, you know, we talked about this a few weeks ago, that, that learning to understand energy comes from feeling, from conscious feeling and conscious movement. And that's something that is, that awakens the spiritual um, illumination that is potential within Taiji. So uh, in terms of setting a joint, so it, what we're doing there is we're assigning a position or a relationship. So in other words, uh, setting something doesn't mean that it's mobile, immobilized uh, uh, absolutely. It means that it's, it is this uh, a relationship is defined between two poles. So, as uh, as humans, we're you know we're constantly in motion, whether we are sitting still or not. You know, as as we humans, if you're if you're at the equator, you're you're moving. The Earth is rotating at about seven thousand miles per hour, or no, thousand miles miles per hour, and uh, you're you're part of that. You're moving. And the Earth is rotating around the Sun at about, uh, I think, seventy thousand miles per hour. So we're always in motion, and it's relative to what. So even as I'm turning my body, I want to be able to establish points which are are relatively stable. So if I'm turning and I'm turning, and my arm is moving like that, that everything is moving, and there's no there's no power because there's no, um, there's no point of reference. 
breaths. If I'm turning and I set my elbow and then I turn, then I have power, right? But why? Because the elbow is, is still with reference to my body and it's still with reference to my hand. So then I'm able to, to, to generate uh, jin by, by doing that. So the, uh, our ability to consciously, mindfully assign a still point in the process is directly proportional to our ability to generate power. And this is a different way of looking at these things, I think, because a, a lot of us have, you know, we're, it's everything is in motion in our Tai Chi. And in fact, I think in the classics, they talk about that, that everything has got, if one thing moves, everything moves. And that's a different idea than what I'm talking about. And that is that within that, all that movement, there are still points. There are, there are substantials and insubstantials. There are yangs and yins. And being able to differentiate those consciously allows you to generate power and quite effortlessly whenever you get when you get the hang of it